In today's video, we're going to continue the Enterprise series with a look at how to enable ATI mode. Whether you're planning to fly in an area with poor GPS or just preparing for an emergency, learning to fly in ATI mode is a useful skill for any pilot. Drones these days are so reliable that people have become complacent, but in the 11 years I've been flying, I've had GPS fail on several occasions. Fortunately, since I learned how to fly without GPS, this never became a problem, and I was able to bring the drone back safely each time. DJI's ADDI mode is a flight mode that disables GPS and vision positioning, allowing the drone to maintain altitude but drift with the wind. It was available on earlier DJI drones like the Phantom and Inspire series, but it's not available on consumer models like the Mavic Air or the Mini series. Adi mode is very useful in situations where GPS is poor, such as flying indoors or in between very tall buildings. In those situations, a partial GPS signal can cause all sorts of unwanted and unpredictable behavior, and so turning off the GPS can be a big advantage. Fortunately, if you have an Enterprise drone, then you're in luck, as the Pilot 2 app provides the ability to convert the F switch, which by default is set to tripod mode and instead use it to instantly switch to ATI mode. So how do we do that? Open the Pilot 2 app, connect the drone, and then go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and scroll down to see flight mode. By default this is set to TNS where T stands for tripod. Select ANS and you'll get a warning explaining that you will be basically controlling the drone manually. Confirm that you've read the disclaimer and the F switch is now set to ADI mode. You can test this by switching to ADI mode before takeoff to make sure it's working as expected. To show what happens, I captured this video on a windy day which as you can see by the wind speed and direction indicator is showing 11.2 mile per hour. As soon as I switch to ADI mode, you can see the drone start to move in that direction and pick up speed. Note that this is happening without me touching the sticks at all. It is literally just the wind pushing the drone, and this is what's going to happen if you ever have a GPS failure. Once you're done with ADI mode, switch back to normal by moving the switch to the middle position, assuming that you're in an environment with a GPS signal. And that's it. Whether you're using this for indoor flights, to provide a cinematically smooth flight, or just practicing to ensure you know how to handle things in the emergency, this is a great feature to be able to turn on and something to keep in your list of tools for when you need it. Well, that's it for another video. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.